Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use a controller on your PC if you're going to be playing Call of Duty Warzone. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So if you want to go ahead and try a controller on your PC playing Call of Duty Warzone, this is very easy to actually do. You can go ahead and use the PlayStation 4 controller. Otherwise, I do have an Xbox controller right here. And I will be using a USB cord with it. Now, uh, you can't connect just through Bluetooth with the PlayStation 4 controller. What you will actually need to buy is a separate dongle that costs around $45 to $60 most of the time. And this may be in limited supplies right now, so maybe check your local Walmart to see if they have it. Otherwise, buy it off of Amazon.com. So you'll just plug this in right to one of your USB ports on your computer and you'll be able to play wirelessly. But if you do not have that, what you can do is go ahead and get a micro USB cable and plug it in directly. And this is very easy to do because you probably already have this lying around your house if you have an older cell phone. So when you plug this in, there's one thing that you need to be aware of, however, is when you plug in a PlayStation 4 controller, since it has like speakers in it, I think your computer detects it as a speaker and it switches over the auto, audio settings to um, your controller. So most times what you will have to do is press the Windows button and then on the bottom right hand side of the screen go to this little speaker icon and you'll have to actually manually switch this over for your select playback devices to your speakers because it's going to think your PlayStation 4 controller is a speaker you will have no audio on your game or your desktop at all so make sure you do that. So that's one of the important things a lot of people run into with the PlayStation 4 controller and you'll have to switch over your settings in the games too and select a different input. You'll want to go to general, go from keyboard and mouse to controller for your input device when you're in the game. Now when you unplug your controller, it's going to switch it back over to keyboard and mouse. So then just go through your uh, controller settings on here and set everything up how you would on your PlayStation 4 or your Xbox. Make sure you don't forget anything. And one thing that is different on here is the dead zone I believe the dead zone I can't remember if we have that on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox yet now the dead zone will represent the inner range in which the stick input will not be registered so uh, if you move it just a little bit depending on where you have this dead zone set it may not register a movement but if you have it very very small like uh, 0.01 it will detect that movement right away so right away, otherwise have that movement just a little bit further out. And this can help with, uh, if you have any kind of stick drift, you can increase the dead zone and it'll get rid of that stick drift. Now, uh, one thing I did want to mention with the Xbox controller I have here is I have this uh, strike path on the back of my controller. Now, with the strike path, I get extra buttons on the back of my controller. And I just want to confirm that these do indeed work. If I press, like, uh, I have this one remapped to X and this one remapped to B, I can go in and out of the different menus by pressing these back buttons. And the same thing with the DualShock 4 attachment. If you have this on your PlayStation 4 controller, I can confirm this does indeed work. So this is only, like, 29 bucks. I believe this is... But the same price on the Xbox. The new one is actually much, much better than this older version. So check out these back button attachments. These are well worth the money. If you have any questions about playing on your PC with a controller, go ahead and ask them down below. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Call of Duty Tech Help videos coming up next on Your Six Gaming.